using his palette, Pablo Picasso wielded his art as a powerful weapon, challenging norms through his creations, and Guernica was his masterpiece. Today, we are talking about a historical painting titled Guernica by the Spanish painter Pablo Picasso. It is perhaps one of history's most important political paintings and has remained relevant as a symbol of protest, keeping the memory of the Basque town alive. But since the artist spoke so little of the true symbolism and meaning of the painting, much has been left up to time to uncover. Why was it made, and what was the reaction of the public to this highly controversial piece? Let's take a look at 10 crazy facts about Picasso's Guernica. 1. During the era of Nazi-occupied Paris in World War II, after Picasso had just created Guernica, he was met with a German Gestapo officer. Upon observing a photograph of the renowned work with the artist residence, the officer asked him if he had done that. To this, Picasso retorted, No, you did. 2. Upon closer inspection, Guernica is a painting predominantly featuring women as its main characters. Among them, a woman screaming with a lifeless child in her arms stands as a powerful and evocative image. Picasso is known for his thematic exploration of life and pain, and strategically used these female figures to convey the profound agony at the time of Guernica. 3. Although Picasso did not actually witness the atrocities of Guernica firsthand, his emotional response was triggered by a report on the event by a South African British journalist for the Times, titled The Tragedy of Guernica, a town destroyed in air attack, eyewitnesses account. The article resonated deeply with Picasso. The presence of torn newsprint within the painting, extending even to the depiction of the horse's chainmail, serves as a visual homage to the way he learned of the incident. 4. Despite living in Paris, and having been away from his native Spain for several years, Picasso's patriotism and sense of justice remained unwavering. The 1937 bombing of the Spanish town of Guernica by the Nazis profoundly impacted the artist, but despite that, he never returned to live in his birthplace. 5. In 1974, the painting faced an act of defiance when anti-war activist and artist Tony Schifrazi defaced Guernica with red spray paint during an exhibition. It was immediately restored by curators. The incident resulted in Schifrazi being charged with criminal mischief, marking a contentious chapter in the artwork's history. 6. Throughout the creation of Guernica, Picasso allowed a photographer to document him making it. This was something completely new for the artist. This visual chronicle, captured in black and white photographs, is believed by historians to have inspired Picasso to reconsider the color scheme, going for a more striking and impactful palette. 7. The deliberate absence of color in the artwork serves as an expression of the stark aftermath of the bombing. Picasso, in his quest for visual resonance, went so far as to specially order house paint with minimal gloss. The resulting matte finish, complemented by shades of gray, white, and blue-black, establishes an outspoken yet unadorned tonal quality throughout the entire composition. 8. Guernica faced heavy opposition from Nazi Germany, bearing the brunt of criticism due to its anti-fascist message and Adolf Hitler's disdain for modern art. The official German guidebook for Paris's international exposition even discouraged visitors from viewing it, saying that any four-year-old could have painted it. Ironically, in 1990, the German military misunderstood Guernica's message, using it in a recruitment advertisement. 9. When examining an early version of the painting, it showed a raised fist, a universal symbol of solidarity against oppression. Initially depicted as empty-handed and later holding a sheaf of grain, this early image was more empowering, but the artist chose to eliminate it altogether. 10. The early reception of Guernica was not how you would expect. Art critics like Clement Greenberg described the artwork as jerky and compressed. French painter and communist Edouard Pignon criticized its political misalignment and lack of empathy for the working class. But despite these initial criticisms, 
Guernica has transcended its early critics. Even years after it was made, the painting remains a true reflection of Picasso's powerful words. A piece of art should stir a person, agitate them, and shake them up. These words stand true for Guernica, which has secured its place as one of Picasso's foremost masterpieces in contemporary art. It's like a visual earthquake with Picasso screaming on canvas, making you feel the madness of war. The more you look, the more it shakes you up. With this, we're signing off for today. I hope this video brought something new for you. Before you leave, comment to tell us what you thought of the painting while subscribing to our channel, and roll the key to hit the bell icon to get notified from us for the upcoming videos. See you all next time.